The real cost of budgets in the Philippines. I know that this is becoming a bit debatable at the moment, and I, I want to say there's a few reasons why the budgets vary so much. The first one is they're not true reflections of a budget. What I mean is, like my van here, last month or the month before, I had to invest 700 euros in its repairs. Um, I'm investing now 100 euros a month ongoing. Does it need 100 euros in a month ongoing? The answer is no, but I will be investing in it to upgrade it to get to a point where I'm happy with the vehicle being in a good condition. Um, I know some people go, oh yeah, but you could buy a newer van for that sort of money. No, you couldn't. You know, and the other thing of this is once it's actually had all the upgrades and re ramps I'm looking at doing, it's actually constantly increasing in value. It's not declining. The, the Volkswagens hold their value pretty much. Um, it's, it's worth the investment, let's put it that way. But the whole point is that's an extra 100 euros a month that you may not have seen on my budget before. It's just something that's changed recently. But I'll factor it in because I've actually got an update uh, relating to what well, immigration and everything want you to be providing, which is 1,400 well, 1, euros a month, which is actually far more than we actually need to be spending. But they want to see that because we are a family of four. It's basically wanting that income showing. Um, so this is why I have to be more proactive in making more money um, because I need to satisfy the immigration guys for my residency. Um, it's rather annoying and frustrating because the fact is I'm here for the residency yet if they understood that I'm better off as a contractor um, I could bring the money in here on a regular basis no problem but I don't fancy being double taxed just to do paperwork um, but also it's nice to be home for the family so I'm just working on it but the, the whole point is the budget before was about a thousand now it's one four although we're not really spending one four I just need to be earning one four um, for paperwork so you get variations that happen quite quickly if your partner got pregnant then you've got things like you may be supplement, supplementing the diet with iron and other things due to Filipino diet having certain things missing from it on a regular basis. <coughs> you could be paying for the birth of a child. We pay about 30 to 50,000 pesos, where other people pay about 5,000 because they go to a birthing clinic, we go to the best hospital we've got in the area because if something's wrong I'd rather have a machine on standby, the ventilators, the incubators, everything is there. Going to the birthing clinic you're putting your trust in guard or whatever because they don't have the facilities. So you've got that side of things which vary depending on the lifestyles of people. You've also got the lot, the choices relating to diets. Um, you've got some people that say, oh, I need to have Bose coffee every day and I've got to have um, dog food, uh, KFC, sorry, every day. Uh, and myself, I'm like, A, I don't believe them, but B, that's the worst diet on the planet. Um, I drink a lot of coffee, I admit that. Um, I drink a lot of tea as well. But I don't go to Bose coffee at that for it. In fact, the coffee I've got in the house is probably better quality because it's not full of crap. Um, a lot of the stuff the, in the Philippines has all these additional stuff going into it. And I'm not saying Bose coffee does that, but you, you're probably going to be buying the coffee with the cream and all the other extra fattening stuff on it. Um, I really don't need that in my diet. <coughs> so the difference with that is I buy a jar of coffee here in Spain. Jarra coffee cost me five euros. Um, if I get, go out, it cost me one euro per drink. So, in reality, I could have a jar of coffee that lasts me a month, or five cups of coffee in cafes for the same price. Those lifestyle choices are relevant anywhere on the planet, which is why, if you're looking at specifics of people, look how they're living. Um, also be aware a lot of people lie a lot um, um, specific people do I mean some people just don't have all the figures to hand as such they don't put them all out there um, 
and others actually do tell the truth. Um, but you just have to gauge it yourself. Don't assume your budget is going to match theirs because you're going to have some vari variables in there that won't match up. Um, see, things like the cost of beer and stuff is pretty standard across the Philippines. There's not a lot in it. Um, but the difference starts when you start dealing with imports. Um, see, we, we buy bottles of wine in in Mingla Nilia, well, not in Mingla Nilia, it's all down Cebu City for about 2,000 pesos a bottle. Um, but other people will buy stuff at about 240, 280 pesos. Um, nothing wrong with either. It's just a personal choice. But the budgets vary so, so much. Um, same as we like, instead of going to KFC and eating that nonsense, we all go to Oreo and get... Oreo and get steak instead. Now we may only go once a month, but you probably find if you're eating crap food all day, your cost of the junk food is going to be the same cost as one of my nights out at a better restaurant. It doesn't mean there's any competition going on, but I'm just saying it's all about preference. Um, transportation. I prefer going by my own motorbike or by my own car. Um, other people use public transport, some people use buses, other people use jeepneys, other use taxis. They all have completely different price structures and as such the price of people's commuting can vary significantly. My car cost me 3,000 pesos a month roughly in fuel, my motorbike 500 to 1,000 pesos. If I took public transport I'm probably not even going to break 1,000 pesos because you don't commute as much if it's a, it's a drag to get there, but also because it's only like, what, six, six to ten pesos a ride or whatever it is these days, it doesn't cost a lot. It's just that it's a bit cramped. Um, I have no issue riding on jeepneys um, and the multi-cab ones. It's mainly just a personal preference to get from A to B a lot faster by motorbike. Um, but that's, that's why you need to sit and have a look at what their costs are, how they're living, and make sure they're telling. You know, is there stuff missing? Did they put the internet bill and stuff on? There's, there's costs in there they haven't shown you, but you might see stuff in their other videos where you suddenly go, there's more cost than that. Anyway, thanks for watching.